The point was, as I understood it, was that as part of the deposition, it came out that I had correspondence with members of the department, not just with George Hicks. And that as part of this deposition, which again, I was totally unaware of what was entailed, that correspondence had to be produced. Well, as far as I was concerned, hey, this correspondence is gonna assist others trying to understand my state of mind to see that I'm talking about Lanfear in an academic way, not in a sexist way. However, there was other parts of that correspondence which one could easily uh, refer to as sexist language. There was lots of comments of a personal nature because Hicks was my friend and we were talking about other matters. And uh, I guess there was other stuff in the correspondence that offered different interpretations than I would have given. What I would have given is this was feeble sense, this was a feeble sense of humor. So I said, okay, here's the correspondence. Well, the lawyers looked at it, and of course, they're not naive. Well, they were horrified, I guess. So what was it that an outsider, and lawyers as a subset of outsiders, might have seen that that would have horrified Just them? what I said. Some of the sexist language that was used. Some of the, I guess that's what they were concerned about. I was never quite clear about what it was that was so upsetting to them, because again, in my own point of view, I was not a sexist, nor was the people I were talking to. We were anthropologists. This is my personal correspondence. Why should a court have to look at my personal correspondence? I mean, to me, that was the kind of information that I thought was going too far. If they had wanted to examine all of the records that were available to them, all of the correspondence that, in fact, was official and, and, and relative to it, that was one thing. But to take my personal correspondence, I didn't think that was appropriate. Now, that's a matter of contention as to whether it is or not. And clearly, Judge Patin thought it was relevant. He thought he could ask for anything that he wanted. And as I understand it now, you know, I watch these TV programs on law. If you have a grand jury, they can ask for anything they want and ask anybody. Well, I didn't know that at that time. And certainly when it comes to that correspondence, if I had known that in fact they were going to take it seriously, I'm not sure I would have handed it in. You know, because now I'm saying after the fact, yes, I think it was irrelevant and I thought it was inappropriate, but it got us into a lot of trouble. I mean, I think people were looking at that correspondence and making the connection to the fact that the university conceded because there was all this information that was so disastrous to the university's case.